Peace and blessings to you all. Welcome to another episode of the Lesson Plan Juice podcast, where I'll sip the juice on some of my many classroom experiences. My name is Mr. David Moore, and my guest narrator is the voice of Morris Chestnut. Today's episode is about open house PTO and the participation or lack thereof of parents. A major staple of taking a village to raise a child is the support of the parent teacher organization or PTO for short. It's very important to have a strong, consistent PTO in a school because the parental involvement creates balance within the child. There's a partnership between the teacher and parent that develops trust and loyalty. When there is little to no participation of parents in the PTO, the teachers have to fill another void of trying to parent their students more often than they'd like to. Now I can't speak for everyone, but when I was in school, a lot of parents were involved in the PTO. My parents were very involved and supportive of my sister and I when we were in school. They kept a constant communication with our teachers and the administration to make sure we had everything we needed and even offered help when they had the time. My mother was a teacher also, so she understood the parent and teacher role very well. I don't know about a lot of other schools, but at the schools I do know about, most parents come to school for the wrong reasons. They'll come in support for prom, graduation ceremonies, award ceremonies, and class birthday shindigs, which is cool. These are the things they're supposed to be supportive of. However, when it comes to coming to open house conferences uh, with the teacher or joining the PTO, some of them are a no-show. I have a huge problem with this because it's giving the impression that parents don't care about how their children are progressing in school. It really seems like the only time some of these parents show up is at end of the year school events or when something negative is going on with their child at school. Again, I'm only talking about some parents, not all of them. There are parents that would bend over backwards to help teachers out out of respect for them making a positive impact on their children. We always see parents of kids who are performing above average. I'd like to see that same energy generated from parents of students who are not doing so well in school, whether it be academically or behavior-wise. And we hear that same stigma all the time about the circumstances of parents, like I'm a single parent, or I have two jobs so I don't have time. While I understand that this may be the case, it's still no excuse. Someone has to be there to check in on your kids and make an effort to contribute. You hear all sorts of success stories of children coming from bad situations and making something out of themselves. There should never be an excuse for parents not to be heavily involved in their child's academic progression. Speaking realistically, there just may be a time where you won't be able to physically support your child, but there's still ways to communicate consistently with teachers and administrators. Today's technology provides a plethora of ways to stay in touch with teachers, as well as contributing to and supporting them. I would love to see schools in my area thrive positively off of the strength of the PTO and consistent participation at open house conferences. It's just my thoughts and opinions though. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments section. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of the Lesson Plan Juice podcast. Please tune in next time and sip the juice with me. I thank you all for your support. Whether you're a fellow educator, parent, administrator, or regular listener, I appreciate you all. God bless you all and peace. So